Hi, and welcome to Wellness Workouts with Katrina. This workout is a seated workout to work the arm, arm muscles. Feel free to grab a set of dumbbells, um, two water bottles, two canned goods, or two gallon jugs. You'll need a chair, you'll need some comfortable exercise clothing with some appropriate shoes with closed toe and closed heel. Feel free to get a water bottle. Check with your healthcare professional professional to see what exercises are safe for you and what you need to avoid and listen to your body modify anything you need to so I've got some dumbbells these are three pounds you don't have to go heavy on them first of all when you sit down sit forward in the chair sit up straight and tall shoulders are back and down and we're going to bring those arms to the side what we're going to do is turn the palms to the back and lift under the chin now, if you've not done a, a warm-up yet, you may want to warm up the muscles with one of my other workouts to make sure that your muscles are ready to work out. Exhale up, inhale down. Now, if I'm going too fast or too slow for you, feel free to modify and go faster or slower. You can also alternate one arm at a time or go to lighter weights or no weights at all with these moves. Once again, exhale and inhale. The next move, we're gonna go straight to the front, straight arms, lift and lower. Shoulder height will be just fine. Exhale up. Now, the next time we come up, we're going to take it into the chest and push, exhale, back down. Push and down. Once again, you can always alternate. Take it to a lower resistance if you need to. We're going to try one more like this. and palms facing the body, we're going to reach down towards the floor. You don't have to touch the floor. You just want to reach a little bit. Exhale down. One more on each side. And this next move, we're going to turn sideways in the chair. So you can come all the way over to the side. The side that's closest to the back of your chair, just put that weight down on top of your leg and lock it in with your fingers. This other leg can stay up to the front or you can bring it down or all the way back. We're gonna take this arm that's on the side without the chair, reach down and pull up. So this is a lawnmower pull. It's gonna work into the back of the shoulder. Now you only need to bring it up to about where your waist is reach down however far you feel comfortable going so you want to be comfortably challenged in the workouts but not to the point of sharp pains next time we're going to keep the elbow up and kick back this is working the tricep which is the upper back part of the arm exhale back notice I am stopping right when I get to the waist so avoid swinging all the way through because then you're using more momentum you want to use those muscles to really stop the move and take out the momentum all right we're going to put the two together reach down and stop and kick back and stop reaching and exhale as you go all the way back. Deep breathing is important while you're lifting. You don't have to go with real heavy weights. Light weights works great for toning. Can increase your strength a bit. Can also help with your bone density and your metabolism. Next time down, we're gonna come out to the side. So we're gonna lift out to the side here, exhale, as you lift. Two more. We're getting it. All right. 
We're going to bring that arm up, bring the leg back around, and we're going to turn around to face the other direction. I'm going to turn my chair up a little bit. All right, so the side that's close to the back of the chair, place that on the leg. The other side, you're welcome to move it back or down if you wish. And then we're going to go into that lawnmower pull as you're ready. Down and up. Exhale with the effort. A lot of people think you have to buy a lot of fancy equipment. You don't really have to buy a whole lot of fancy equipment. I do have a set of dumbbells, though. I really like them. It's been a great investment for me over the years because I've used them quite a bit. If you're going to invest in something, I encourage you to invest in some really good athletic shoes. All right, one more like this. And then we're going to keep that elbow back. Kick back. And kick back. Stopping in the middle. A lot of these moves are very simple. Don't require a whole lot of work to do, depending on how heavy your weights are. The CDC does recommend to do some type of resistance training twice a week at least. But I don't recommend doing the arms two days in a row or the legs two days in a row. You want to alternate if you're doing every day. So do the arms one day, do the legs the next day if you're doing back-to-back -back days. Keep that elbow back. We're going to kick back. Exhale out. I'm feeling this one. Two more. And we'll reach down and out to the side. Work in the back of that shoulder. Exhale out. Once again, shoulder height is high enough. You don't have to go way up high. Maybe feeling it in the legs right now, depending on how much weight you're putting into the legs as you do this move. Four more. All right, let's bring this back leg up. Come back around. Now, bringing those feet out in front of you, we're going to drop the hands and bend the elbows. So we're sitting up straight and tall away from the back of the chair. Good postures. Shoulders are back and down. Exhale up. These home workouts are great. A lot of people are stuck at home, and these are quick and easy things that you can do without a whole lot of fancy equipment. I'm in my basement right now, and it works. Exhale up. All right, the next time up, we're going to take it up and out. So take it up and reach. One more. This time we're going to take straight arms up and twist back and down. So imagine you're pouring a drink, two drinks, if you got both arms going at the same time. You can use your imagination for what kind of drink you'd like to be pouring right now. Two more. And we're going to take those legs a little bit wider and reach down towards the floor. Trying to keep that opposite hip down as much as possible. You don't have to touch the floor. Just until you feel comfortably challenged. Exhale down.
Now the next time, we're going to reach all the way down and put the weight on the floor. So reach down, put that weight on the floor. We're going to come up. Same thing with this other side. And bring those legs back in. Shoulder rolls. Stretching it out just a little bit. It's always a good idea to stretch out the end of a workout. Let's reverse. Pull those elbows. Shoulders towards the front. One more. Move into a static stretch. Take one arm and go across the body. Take this hand in between the two joints. I'll turn this way just a little bit so you can see better. Make a fist and open. Arm to the front. We'll reach behind the back. Feel free to lift or pull all the way overhead with that other arm. Some people like to reach down and see if you can interlace the fingers or touch the fingers to each other. That works too. Sit up straight and tall. Shoulders back and down. Deep breath. And exhale. Let's release. Shoulder rolls. We'll try that other side. Come across. Hand to the middle there. Make a fist and reach through the fingertips. Stretching at the end can help with your flexibility and also can decrease how sore you might be the next day. We'll take that hand to the front. If you're a little bit sore the next day, it just means you really work those muscles. But you want to be able to move the arms. You don't want to have the sharp pains. Once again, if you want to reach back, see how close you can get your fingers or interlace the fingers. Deep breath in. And exhale and release. Shoulder rolls again. We're going to take the elbows back. Open the chest. And then make a basketball goal and round the back. Shoulders down. Tuck the chin. And release. Take those arms up and overhead. Deep breath in. And exhale. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you have a great time working out and feel free to post comments of what you'd like for me to do for future classes. Have a great day.